Welcome back to the Urban Ranch version 2.0, episode 17.2. So there are a number of uh, items from the house that we're, we've chosen to uh, restore and refinish uh, and reuse in the home. Uh, some of these uh, pocket doors, there were a total of four of them, two on each side of the home originally. And um, we intend to reuse those uh, uh, in the Urban Ranch version 2.0. So what we've done is we've uh, stripped off the old varnish um, left behind some of the original uh, stain, which we kind of like. I like that kind of character, this bit of a, a red um, a color that the wood has. Uh, in the stripping process, though, there has been uh, some residual of the stripper left um, in kind of uh, some of the grooves and tighter spots of the wood. And, and down here, you can see some uh, as well. So before we go... Um, and refinish these with a with a clear satin um, polyurethane water based. What I've done is taken a, a set of old um, dental tools that a patient of mine actually uh, gave to me a while ago, and going through and cleaning up these corners. So you can see this one's already been cleaned, and you can see nice and crisp um, clean edges in the corner here. And then um, what we'll do is I'll take a um, I'll start with uh, just a real light 220 uh, sandpaper onto these and then uh, put a coat of the uh, uh, polyurethane, polyacrylic I should say, um, and then over, and then uh, I'll do a three, um, 330 uh, light sand, another coat a 400, so a really fine, just a wisp of a sand on here, um, and then a final coat. You can see these are some of the other pieces here. And you can see this door here. So this one I've now finished. So this coat, this door has three coats of the uh, um, uh, polyacrylic uh, clear. Uh, again, it's clear, it just has a satin. So it just has a little bit of a sheen to it, but I think it's really come out spectacularly. So uh, really happy with that one. Um, I have a, a number you can see. Here's a, another one that I gotta get to. Uh, this has a, a coat um, on it. While I'm letting that dry, I'm working on this other one. And then a number of other items. Um, these are the original mantles, three of the original eight, because there were eight uh, in the original home uh, that I'll show in uh, future videos as we get ready to uh, refinish those to be installed in the home. Uh, this door, was uh, one of the original doors of the home that's actually gonna be reused now in the uh, for the cedar closet in the basement. Uh, this door is a little different. Um, you can see it's a five panel, uh, clean that up. And then I uh, did a light sanding to the um, the rails and styles of the, of the door, but have left these panels a little bit more um, kind of unfinished, if you will. But again, that has uh, just a clear satin uh, polycrylic on it. Um, this piece of veneer here we'll get into in a future video. But um, so kind of interesting, a little bit of a tedious uh, a job here doing this, but um, I think the end result is certainly going to be worth uh, the preservation of some of these unique items to the home. Use a natural bristle two inch brush to apply the uh, water based polyacrylic. Um, put uh, three coats on and again uh, sand between using a tacking cloth to uh, remove any uh, small uh, particles after the sanding in a, a vacuum. As you can see, multiple uh, doors and uh, multiple sides to do. So, as I was going around uh, cleaning up some of the um, uh, corners in that of this door. I just thought it was interesting and something to point out. Realize this door is original to home, the home built in 1913. And kind of the craftsmanship of how they would have made. I mean, this is a, a fairly large door. It's about uh, a little over seven and a half feet tall and roughly 32 inches, I believe, um, wide. But if you look at the door, again, it has this nice, what I believe to be a, a, a maple um, veneer and you can see from the underside of the door how it was actually constructed. So you can see the, the, the sides of the door, it's almost a tongue and groove uh, series of pieces of wood with the veneer then placed on top. And then this I found, found kind of interesting. I, I would have uh, imagined that this bottom rail 
of the door would have been a single piece, but you can actually see it's actually three pieces of wood with a little joiner um, end here. This appears to be a flat seam here, and you know, I don't know if they would have biscuited it together um, on the inside, probably not back in, in that day and age. Um, and then three, uh, um, and then that same same piece down here. So uh, just thought it was kind of an interesting construction of the door. Maybe this is typical of, of doors back then, I'm sure it, it was, um, but uh, certainly not the way that we uh, build doors anymore. So again, further evidence to support why we really want to go through kind of the little bit of this painstaking detail of cleaning the doors up um, and getting ready, ready to uh, preserve and restore them. You can see now this corner here, I just kind of got a first round of cleaning up. I got a little bit more to get in here and you can see all these little bits um, uh, from that's left over uh, uh, the stripper in old dirt and grime that had been in, in these corners. So um, just taking the time to do it right and um, hope uh, finished product I think will uh, be well worth the time and effort. So. Uh, a little bit more work to do on this one yet. We have received some questions from folks regarding the uh, facility upon which uh, this restoration work is being done in. This is actually the original German village auto house. A uh, house spelled H-A-U-S, as the Germans would have. Um, this is located uh, in German Village, uh, just around the corner uh, from the Urban Ranch. Uh, and again, it was an original mechanics garage that uh, Crystal and I renovated and converted, actually, into our home uh, just about two years ago. Uh, you can see with the door open there, neighbors walking by in a nice fall day, and uh, neighbor two popping in. Take a look and poke around. You can also see in the uh, um, background there uh, the uh, curved structure. That's actually a 1954 flexible bus uh, that was converted to an RV back in the early 80s. Some of the pieces that I'm working on here in the video, you can see this is the actual uh, urban ranch before it was uh, gutted and renovated. You can see some of those trim pieces of wood around the pocket doors. Those two uh, we took over to Coop Restorations, had those pieces stripped. And then again, doing that same uh, multi-coat uh, process with the clear uh, polycrylic um, finish on those. Of course, as you can imagine, with any project like this, you always need to have a, a watchful supervisor. And fortunately, I was able to uh, coerce my, my daughter, Whitney, into uh, helping uh, provide some oversight to the project here. She kind of keeps me on track and uh, making sure things are going well. So again, hope you're enjoying these uh, videos on the Urban Ranch version 2.0. More to come on this uh, wood restoration of the project. Thanks for watching.